Howdy, I'm Jace. I have sex addiction and I work with a bunch of other people who do too. Now, how much sex do you have to have for it to be addiction? Or how many partners do you have to have for it to be addiction? Those are some of the, <laughs> the big questions that I get asked and it's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. But before we do, make sure you have subscribed and you hit that little bell so you get notified when new videos come out. And you can get updates and info by signing up for the newsletter on my website. Link for that is below. And I have got a great free resource waiting for you at the end of this video. So stick around for that once we are done. Now, how much sex do you have to have for it to be addiction? And how many partners? Nope. <laughs> Just no. Nope. That's not, that's not what's happening here. That's not what's going on with sex addiction. Y'all, addiction is an actual thing. It has actual criteria that go along for diagnosing it. Now, we're a little delayed in America with regard to this being in the diagnostic manual, and there are reasons for that. But with all of the people working in this industry, helping people recover from sex addiction, we've seen all of the same patterns. It shows up just the same way as other areas of addiction do as well. So there's criteria that go along with sex addiction, just like every area of addiction. It's not about the amount of sex you're having. It's not the partners that you have. It's not the type of sex you engage in. It's not the fantasy you have. It's not the fetishes you like. It's not what you're aroused by. None of that is how sex addiction is diagnosed. When we talk about sex addiction, we're looking for specific things, out of control behaviors. So we're talking compulsive behavior, something you don't want to engage in or you want to stop, but you don't have the ability to do so. Or perhaps you're spending more time or money or energy on it than you want, but you can't seem to not do that. So we're talking out of control, compulsive. You're, you're just doing it like on autopilot. That is an area you are recognizing that there are negative consequences, maybe to your health or your finances or your family or your reputation or your job, and you can't not do the behavior anyway, even though you see that there are negative consequences there. Maybe your health is at risk. Maybe you're putting your life in danger, but you're doing it anyway. And we are putting this as a priority above absolutely everything else. It is just on top, no matter what else is going on, this is where our time and energy is going, despite those negative consequences, despite not wanting to engage in these things they are happening anyway. And it seems to always be the priority of our life. And this has been going on for six months or more. That's what really is looked at when we're talking about sex addiction. You could have no partners and zero sex and still meet the criteria for sex addiction. You could have a thousand partners and enjoy having sex regularly and have not not be addiction. We because we come from this outdated old school recovery model that was not science-based and that's kind of permeated all areas of our understanding of addiction where it's like this elusive thing and we're not sure what it is and we think it's our behaviors or it's this allergy or um, you know something like that going on but that's not the case anymore it's 2021 we get to study the brain we get to study people and do a lot of research and we know what's going on with addiction now so if you're wondering Am I a sex addict? I, I like to have sex all the time. Not necessarily. Uh, do you want to engage in that behavior and you're doing it at appropriate times with appropriate people that feel in alignment with who you are and where you want you where you want to be in your life? Well, then that probably isn't addiction, right? Or are you in a space where you're engaging in thoughts or activities or behaviors? Uh, excessively, far more than you'd like to, but you can't seem to stop. And there are consequences tied to that, but you do it anyway. And this has been going on for uh, a period of six months or more. Then yeah, yeah, then it's time to look into like maybe that maybe you're experiencing sex addiction, which I know sounds scary. And there's the stigma and there's the shame and all of that stuff. But y'all, 
<laughs> this is probably the biggest area of addiction. We're just not talking about it. So I know it might feel like you're the only one. Brother, sister, you are not. There is a whole big industry working specifically for people with sex addiction to help them get rid of the nonsense and live happy, healthy, full lives. So it's not your partners. It's not your preferences. It's not your orientation. It's not the amount of sex. There are actual criteria that go into diagnosing it. And maybe, you know, don't necessarily diagnose it on your own and, uh, and then just like go off to the races. Look into it. Do some research. There are a lot of, there's a lot of information out there on how this shows up. And of course, you're right here on this YouTube channel where we talk about this openly and candidly without any shame or judgment. So explore around a little more and see if things resonate with you. And if they do, know that there are a lot of recovery options now. This doesn't have to be your life. You don't have to have those negative consequences. You are worth a big, beautiful, amazing life and you have everything you need to live it. You just got to get rid of that, uh, that whole addiction thing, which is a set of criteria, there's science behind it, and you can learn more about that in some of the other videos here on this channel. Or you can check out my Introduction to Sex Addiction course, which is a quick 90-minute course on my website that talks about what sex addiction is, what it is not, where it comes from, and what you can do about it. Also on my website, you can find out how I guide people on a path of self-mastery to completely free themselves from addiction and live boldly satisfying lives. All of that is at jstowney.com. Dot com and the choose your own adventure on this channel too. So I invite you to explore and make sure you stick around because we're about to give a free resource that's going to help with exactly this area. Until I see you next time, stay curious. Howdy. If you have seven minutes, I have the simple secret for living a satisfying life. I've put it together in a super fast training that you can take right away to get the tools that you need to live your best life. And it might not be what you're thinking. Head to the link below to get instant access in your inbox straight away.